when I moved out of my parents' house, actually, was probably when I kind of stopped going, but then would go occasionally and over trying to find a church. And, and then when Ashlyn was born, I was like, it's not even worth it. I can't even imagine taking her someplace and trying to meet somebody new when I feel like getting out of the house, period, is a major success for the day. Two or three years ago, I wouldn't have been able to describe her personality. Um, I think because she's come a long ways as far as going to preschool and going to school has really helped her a lot, and and I think I have as well. Um, I had a really hard time at the beginning um, because she wasn't what she should be in my mind. You know, she was she was a job. She was a checklist. She was just that this is you know I felt more like like a nurse most of the time than a mom you know I was Lana's mom I was Ashlyn's nurse because of the brain issues and um, the vision issues we don't know how much she sees with the one eye that she does have um, because it's a brain thing the eye itself is normal um, but it's what her brain is doing with the information it's getting and how much information it's actually getting. So they can't tell us what she can or can't see because she can't tell us what she can. The fact that she smiles and laughs and, and draws out people that she sees is more than I thought would happen a few years ago. It's hard to see that for Alana because she has kind of the worst of both worlds in that. She's an only child because she doesn't have someone to go play outside with. She doesn't have someone to play pretend with. Um, she doesn't have that. They say that the grief, like when my brother died and his accident, it's like there's an end. This is final, this is done. And you, you have your grieving process and it's a little more linear. Um, when you have a child like this, it's, it's continual because there will be things that come up that once again show you that you don't have that normal child that you thought you had. And you grieve that child not existing. You think that you're getting through something and then something will happen again and you'll realize Ashlyn can't do that. Ashlyn will never experience this part of life, and it starts it all over again. So we um, originally came because I saw, I don't remember if it was somewhere at therapy or something, but about the, the Masterpiece Respite Nights that they do the people in that ministry they that they really get a lot of it a lot of the things that like i said you don't think about does the sidewalk have bumps but those little things that you learn to think about and you learn to watch for were things that they already knew to think about and they already knew to watch for i don't think i even realized how much i missed that connection and that community because um, it had been so long since i'd been a part of it because I can't sit here and say, oh no, I write it, you know, yep, I found the church, I'm, I'm doing great, this is, you know, God's in it. It was not always that way in any way, shape, or form. Um, there were some pretty rough times and pretty dark times through it, dealing with it. I have a hard time when people say, and, and they say it well meaning. I know they say it well meaning, but they say, Oh, Ashlyn, she's such a blessing. And I'm going, no, she's not. She's a product of the broken world. She's the way she is because we live in a broken, sinful world. That's not how she's supposed to be. Now, does God use her to bless other people? Yeah, I've seen it. Believing in something afterwards, believing that, that after this, she'll not have her broken body and she can be who she was supposed to be. Her, her personality can really show up and, and Ashlyn as a person, as a soul, can really exist. It's like that's, that's the hope at the end, I guess. So when you don't put that, when your focus isn't how can I make Ashlyn 
right here because that's not gonna happen. But what can I do to make it as the least miserable as possible while she is here until she gets to be what she's supposed to be?